Okay, decided I would make a little video. This is the new map sensor that I just bought uh, from rockauto.com. And nothing against their company, they're a good company. They didn't make the part, so this is not a reflection on them whatsoever. I'm actually very impressed with them because they... Uh, they have good customer service and a good replacement policy. So if anyone's buying any parts, I definitely recommend Rock Auto. Um, they have great prices, they ship quickly, and they resolve customer issues without any uh, problems. So um, this is the sensor that I got. It's a it's made from Standard Parts Company. Um, the rest of the stuff that I bought from them is actually pretty good. Um, most of it's made in the U.S. Uh, as is this one. I've got it unhooked here because uh, I'm going to put the old one back in because as it turns out, the, um, the one that I just bought isn't working. And I'll show you what I mean by not working. Um, I'll plug this back in. The little clip on the top here broke off. It's, it's not a big deal. It, it'll it'll stay on there guys and it's not it's not what's causing the problem I don't want anybody to think that um, anyway did this to show you what I mean by not working I'm gonna come over here to the interior and ignore the girly keychain guys that's these are my wife's keys I'm going to turn the Jeep on and I want you to hear what does not happen. Oh, look at that. No fuel pump spool. None whatsoever. Um, it's really surprising. I didn't know that a map sensor could cause a fuel pump to be faulty or a fuel pump to not spool. Um, I wanted to take a video to show you guys that that is possible because uh, I feel like I'm crazy for thinking that it's that is possible but I'm going to hook up the old one come on there we go a little bit challenging to hook this crap up one hand okay old ones hooked up and now we get fuel pumps full so there you have it guys if you have a problem with your fuel pump not spooling up after just replacing sensors, make sure you check what you just replaced. Um, if you haven't replaced anything and you are having a problem with your fuel pump not spooling up, definitely check that sensor. Um, first thing I did was check the relay. Tried several different relays, nothing worked. I tried this, which is the resistor. Um, it was not the issue. Um, I then unplugged the pigtail at the fuel pump to check voltages there and wasn't getting the voltages that I believed I was supposed to. Um, I had my wife help me by turning the key on and from what I've been reading you're supposed to get 12 volts at initial key turn on and then it's supposed to drop down to 6. Well she would turn the key on and it would just be 6 and that's it. So um, Anyway, hope that helps somebody. Like I said, check out Rock Auto. They got good prices, good shipping, um, and you're going to get quality parts, not cheap junk like you may get at some auto parts stores. So, anyways, thanks, guys.